me and Wayne and the guys got talking and we started thinking maybe the curse of the Superstition Mountains is real. Everybody had issues after the show aired, um, personally or financially. You know, I lost my job. It took me two years to get back on track financially. Magnuson had issues up in Idaho and Oregon, his house and a number of other things. Woody had health issues. Frank had crazy people coming out of the woodwork. Uh, basically trying to ride his coattails, as did Wayne. Um, production company went belly up. And we haven't gotten a season two. We haven't been renewed. So, our numbers were good. A lot of people loved the show. No season two yet. Why? What happened there? this point you and I have been doing everything we're the ones going out we're the ones doing the research but trying I, but, to put but I think we need to get in touch with Delil and Magnuson and Woody and I, I think we got a good partnership I think we're continuing on the same path that we were but I think we really want to stay in touch with them and let them know and give them the opportunity I mean the, giving them the opportunity to be involved in this I think is the right thing to do well, there's no reason to drag everybody down here at this point. Wayne and I are looking into some things. We're getting some things lined up. Right now, it, it would be tough for me to dedicate the amount of time and money that I did before um, to help out with the project. It's not a matter of want to. It's just a matter of logistics and all the other stuff I've got going on. It is what it is. Um, but... I want to help out any way I can. I just don't know if I can do what I did before, not right away. Most people don't don't know the toll that doing that that show and being involved in that project took on me financially and uh, emotionally. It, we were out there for a couple months, and in a short span of six weeks, I had lost my job, didn't have that to come back to, and uh, and my ex-wife had told me she was done. And you guys both know. Uh, neither of those were anticipated, so that was not easy. Well, I, I agree, but we also need to keep open that if Magnuson or Galil, if they if they can't get here and help us, that we need to be open to bringing maybe somebody else in to help. That yeah. could advantage the team. Not not that I'm excluding the two Erics because at any time they're more than welcome to come down and jump in. I, I think the point is what we're trying to find is bigger than any one individual and we have to keep that in mind and we don't know what the exact goal or aim at this time is. We have a lot of leads, we have a lot of material, a lot we want to do, we want to pick up on. So I don't want to leave anybody sitting on the bench. I also realize to get moving forward right now we need to be out there and wasting more time wasting more time isn't beneficial to anybody at this point right you know if you think about it every time we went out we found something even when we were filming I mean they may have the production company may have had an idea of what they wanted 
but while we were there doing it, we found something unrelated to what they were looking at. It's one thing about gold. It's where you find it. Now, there are certain things you look for, and the best place to find gold is where it's been found before. I think the more important in all this is we're, we need to find things because we found things. I don't want anything to feel contrived. I want to document this, and I want it to see... Well, no, I don't... No, let me restate that. I want this to be as real as possible. And I know there's certain things or moments, but I don't want to refilm. I don't want to do what we did before. I think we both talked about this a lot. We're both in agreement. We want this thing to be about what we do. We want people to see it and understand the risks and the rewards and the adventure, but we want it to emanate and, and touch people in a way of, this is the real thing. We're doing the real thing. We were doing the real thing, but this is kind of like the underside of it. And, it, and it's not always pretty, but I think it's gonna resonate with people better. The prospectors, the treasure hunters, they're gonna say, yeah, you know, I get that. And I think that's one thing is we want to set straight is it's what we do. And it's a shame when people look at us and think, oh, we're a character of something. No, the characters were us. We were those characters, but we were edited. And, and I think it's, it, it, it's, it's the best thing we could possibly do is be ourselves and do it in real time. No retakes, no direction, no script, nobody feeding us anything, no time limits. We're going to do this at our own pace, at our own way, and no one looking over our shoulder or no one telling us what we need to do. We'll edit it, we'll produce it, we'll do it ourselves. We've been waiting for over two years to hear something from the production company or the network on a season two for our TV show. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I could be dead as far as they know. I mean, I haven't been contacted at all in two and a half years. So Frank and I got our plan set. We're gonna get back down into Fish Creek. But I feel obligated at this time. I need to talk with Dalil, get to check with Eric. Well, I can tell you one thing about Eric Delia. Is that how you pronounce his name? No, it's oh, Delio. Delio. The real deal. Yeah. Well, you can call him just call him the deal. Delio. Say Delio. Delio. <laughs> Delio. Leo. Not like Italian, like Delio. What is it? Delio. Delio. D E L E L. I'll just call him fucking Eric D. Okay, Eric D. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll tell you one thing. There's one good thing about Eric, the real deal, he is a hard worker. I've watched some of his videos. He goes out in California in the mountains looking for gold, and he's finding some stuff. He's successful at what he's doing. And he's really handy in an area with, you know, like where we're searching. I mean, he's good at climbing. He's good at, uh, he's good at finding gold. He's not afraid to go out and search for something new. And I think that's one of the big advantages of him. And I'd really love to have him come down so he can join us on a couple of trips and help us out. Check in with him, see how things are going. See if he can get himself down here. Yo, what's up, Eric? What's going on, Alice? So I know, deal, I know how you and Magnuson and you know the whole thing with the Jesuit cross. But Frank and Woody yeah. are adamant about sticking down into the Fish Creek and Canyon and down in the canyons getting more samples. I, I see I see both sides. I understand why you and Mags want to get back up there. The problem is I'm catching word that someone was up there and the cross is gone. I got word that someone took it. It's in San Pedro. I don't know if that's San Pedro on the border of Arizona or San Pedro Valley, but someone got up there and I'm kind of worried about going and working ourselves into that, obviously the cost. Uh, we need uh, we need financially, if there's a safety protocol, we're gonna have to follow, right? We can't go back in there like we did last time. Sure. And it has to be more than one man. We're gonna have to run a two-man crew at least up into there. And in that case, we need also permits and everything else. And I just don't think right now that's a cost-effective move 
not knowing if there's something there or not. And we could put ourselves in a legal bind, I think, by getting up into the cave and finding someone else took it, and then someone's going to say, well, you guys were up there filming, right? so either I've looked at that I've looked at that footage a hundred times and it looks solid it could be a marker for something in that area and working our way through there taking samples looking to see if we can see any other activity any relics any antiques that makes sense um, going putting ourselves at risk at this point in there th there is no insurance policy on us for that and I know you and Mags are just pulling your lives together again, finally getting things back up and going, and trying to drag everybody down into this and going for that. I mean, that we, we could end up twisted and tied into that in the next two years, sitting on our hands, waiting to see what the outcome is. A treasure trove permit doesn't get handed out overnight. Definitely what Frank and I were thinking. We want to go back and make sure and look where we were pulling a quarter half ounce. That, that, that's not going to do anything for you. It doesn't do anything because you're going to find gold almost anywhere. But the idea is to look at these areas, work these drainages, and see if we can find a source area, if we can find something that would be load mine. And I think production moved us a long way too quick. We should have spent days in an area like we initially did that first area we spent days working that area of what he wanted at work and then later we barely spent half a day and they kept moving us down the canyon one thing i was really sick of is almost every episode they had us running from a spot i'm not the type that runs i'd rather stand and wait yeah so okay we're gonna follow that lead we're gonna follow up and I'm gonna let Frank know after I talk to Mags and we'll get this thing moving forward and we'll see what comes of it. I'll keep you informed, I'll keep you updated and we're gonna work out something here to way to do a conference call with all of us because I think that would be the best way to share information rather than just me jumping into one or two of you guys and Frank sharing with Woody. So we'll work out something and kind of work out a conference call situation here soon. All right? Sounds good. All right. There, Buzz, Dad, let's find something cool. You you can pretty much damn well bet on it at this point. So take care, right. Delil. I'll catch you later. Okay, so definitely the plan should be to position ourselves down here, um, the Fish Creek drainage. But we'll we want to work this area. This is an area of wells. We had good samples. We want to pull these samples out of this area. What we want to do is probably stage a vehicle here. Um, we can drop those samples from this area in general and then continue this area of Fish Creek. Have a second vehicle that we've set here and then we can bring that vehicle back up to here. Now I know these drainages, Andre and Sven, um, and some mineralization, so we'll have to note and watch those areas. So some of this has been covered, and I believe it was more in this general area. We want to partic in particular care up into this area here. I don't think anyone's been pulling these areas. So we want to concentrate on Fish Creek proper. And then of course the drainage to the salt. And of course so Fish Creek does continue down back into the wilderness area. And it's quite quite the area to work because um, obviously a map scale here is we will be working from this general area here so we'll work from this general area and some of this 
and then what we'll do is work this continue over here. Additionally, Fish Creek runs back into here and then splits off with Lost Dutch Canyon, and you end up literally back in here, the Miller Tunnels in this area. So you get Fish and Goat Canyon, and it's just a lot of ground to cover. Fish Creek Mountain, of course, over this way. So we will see how we work and see how this all very old map here much older map i don't know what year this is but uh, this map goes back not that old still lists everything's coffee flat but uh i don't think you can find this map anymore i got a couple different copies of it i think it's it's no longer available anymore and the medicine wheel is gone the rocks from it are nowhere even in sight so someone came out decided to be malicious not very cool and took it upon themselves to decide that this did not need to be here anymore for whatever reason and put some effort into it wouldn't you say that Frank some effort into making sure it no longer exists and it was here six months or so ago last time I saw it and it was fully intact there's been other times it's been broken up and people have went and found rocks and made sure it was rebuilt but Ugh. not a lot of fun Trevor peering up and down the hill part not so much you know what we call the younger guy the mule. Feeling. Yeah. You're the little mule. Are those rocks all lined up on that rock that this was going to bucket and brought up here? Okay. <laughs> are, are they? Okay. Put them, <laughs> put them in the black bucket and. Is he good? No? They're all in that rock still. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I think he's saying the rocks are. Do you want me to pick up the rocks that are lined up on the other Yeah, those are the better pieces. Use this bucket. Alright. Hey, you know, you notice the stuff we put in a bucket is, is, is oh no, our bucket's still down there, isn't it? No, this is our yeah. bucket. All the better pieces are the ones that Frank didn't put in a bucket. Is that how it worked, Frank? That's a shame. Trevor brought an empty bucket up, and then he has to go back down and fill it up, and then bring it back up. Sometimes life sucks. So we're back in the area, and this is the area where we found the hole. Um, we looked up, it's rocked off at the front end, so there's just like a slight opening, and then you can lay down in there. So it's just a small alcove, but obviously the rocks were stacked for a reason up in the front of it. So we found that from the back side, and then just above us here is where there was some screen dirt. We took the samples out of here, and this is where the sample that was a quarter ounce per ton came out of. So, and that was just a chance, and that piece actually comes out of just a crust here on the other side. So, and there's also framework, so we'll film that in a minute. But there's a bunch of metal framework all scattered up in through these boulders going up. Whether they were dry washing or what they had it set up for, who knows. We lost Frank. He's around the corner. Okay, I don't know where he went. Yeah, I know where he's at. Okay. So, we'll pick it up after we get back on the other side. I do want to check this cave out over here once we're done too. Can you see the framework down below me here? See it on the rocks? See the pieces of the metal? Yeah. Yeah, that runs all the way back up in here some big pieces the quartz vein is right across from me here oddly enough I don't think it's that odd it appears someone's chipped all the quartz out of here hmm. there's no quartz left that I can find and we took a bit now, there's something going on down in that spot 
I'm going to call it the prayer wheel area. Uh, Wayne and I went back there, and the prayer wheel was totally gone. The rocks were thrown over the hill. Uh, during filming, Wayne found a, a small quartz vein coming down above where I found the gold nugget. Somebody went back in there and cleaned that sucker out. Now, somebody using information from the show is going back or trying to find what we were looking at and for and, and, and what we found. And they're trying to destroy any sign that something was going on in that area. They, they, they know something we don't. Someone worked on this. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to be able to get any samples out of this now. through here. It's washed down or been disassembled. I think this actually came from over there. We carried it over here when we were filming. So we didn't plan it. We just happened to bring it over with us while we were walking over. But yeah, this was this is that spot I found that quartz vein. Well, obviously someone's been up here already. quartz left in any of this. They pulled all the quartz out of this out of the rock running through here. That's pretty pretty wild. Guess it's to be expected. So there's not much of anything left here. This all through here was quartz. I think it actually even you can see it on the show. But uh yeah, it ran right through there, the seam down through here. There's a little bit of it left. Maybe I'll get a couple more samples, but yeah, someone's went through here, cleaned all of this out. I guess that's the problem sometimes with people figuring out where you're at. So, but I don't know where Frank is still. He's off somewhere, but uh, we're looking for some particular rocks. Um, we're finding some stuff with just traces of gold. Obviously, the quarter ounce per ton was here, but uh, we're trying to follow up through here and, and see where the sources and all of where this stuff was. Definitely something I don't think we should have passed on by and blew off when we were doing it because it definitely was a good spot. Frank found placer got gold just south of me here, just down the hill. You know, while we were up by uh, Black Cross Butte filming, I was walking up uh, on one of the drainages of Fish Creek, and there was water running at that time of year. And I looked down on the ground, and there was a nugget. It was about maybe about a one gram nugget, just laying there on top of the bedrock. And, and I picked it up, yelled for the film crew. They came down, they filmed it, but they didn't air it. Why? Okay, so working our way up through here. And, uh, we know what's around the corner, huh? Oh yeah, it's some other place you gotta climb down, right? <laughs> it's always something like that. Can never win, huh? I don't see anything. No, I'm not seeing anything in the rock. Definitely jumping out at me. Yeah. Yeah, it's working its way out of different stuff. But we're thinking a lot of what we're getting is coming out of in the interior. There's rocks that's breaking off and then rolling down. So it'd be nice just to find some like really nice sample today. 
but we'll do some plastering later. You coming this way or where are you going? Hmm. I'll figure in a minute. It's completely disappointing to come out here and find out someone else has cleaned out a spot we knew we could pull some good samples from. But with that being done, there's an area right up over the hill that I want to check out with Trevor because that's an area we didn't go to with production. Okay, so I'm just kind of sitting here by myself for a while. <laughs> Needed a bucket. I don't know if this will even pick up on this. Anyhow, I found this piece here. And it's got a little copper and gold in it. So it's right kind of in this area here. Oops. So I don't know if it's picking up in the sunlight. It's hard to tell with the foam and everything. Anyway, it's got that. And I have another piece right over here, but I'm going to end up shading it. But it's right here in this crack some more. So I'm going to clean that out. Trevor took off. something up here to carry everything now I got too many samples I haven't seen Frank for about an hour so hopefully he'll turn back up uh, I think he went north so I think he's north of where I'm at and I went south this is I figured everything was working probably from up in this hill down south and I think Frank is um went over to look at the other side but uh some nice Different stuff, so nice, nice piece of quartz. But uh, this actually looks got kind of a rose hue to it, kind of something a little different. And just always some other mineral, but I'm glad I'm not even needing a rescue. <laughs> but uh, there's some good little spots we're gonna spend the day out here checking out. And, there's a cave or two in the area I want to kind of look into, but definitely kind of an interesting area. And right now I'm in a kind of a wash, and the rocks are tumbling through here. But there's a, like I said, it's probably the most mineralization I've seen since. Well, there was that, you know, that quartz, that vein of quartz, but someone worked that out, so that really sucked. And of course, the um, wildflowers are blue in bloom. It's nice out today. So it's really nice. So I'm actually getting a nice, easy, quiet moment. I, I do not understand where he went. I guess he might have hooked up with Frank and they might have just left me here. So, oh well. All's good. All's good. This is much better scenery than looking at the three of us. Yeah, so it is really nice out here today. It's just everything's in bloom. So, had a good wet winter. All right, so hopefully. Hopefully he'll be back here eventually soon. Oh, and we did have um, one guy kind of was up on the hill watching us for a while. We saw him coming in, California plates. He's by himself. I don't know, he yelled a couple things down at us. I don't know what he thought we were doing, but we couldn't really hear him, just ignored him, didn't even look over, kind of ignored it, but uh, yeah. Frank and everyone else always says they run into people, people show up and give them all kinds of grief and problems. And what I'm seeing today is I'm not seeing anybody. I think we pretty much got the place to ourselves. I haven't, I'm hearing, I'm hearing jets overhead, but I haven't seen vehicles, nothing. So there's nobody coming in and out of here, nobody anywhere in the area. It's a beautiful day to be out, so everybody else is just missing out. Yeah, but this is, this is seriously a good day. So, good day to be out here. Good day. Oh, here comes Frank and Trevor as we speak. I don't know which route they're taking. Well, I guess we'll film, film them coming up. <clears throat> so, I guess we could always throw music over this. It's a good B-roll, isn't it? Yeah, but they're way down there right now. Working their way up the hill, so. Frank and Trevor working their way up. 
guess I'll show Frank some of what I got. And it wasn't too bad. It was the oh, cigarette. It's eight or nine minutes to get back to me. Completely other side of uh, everything we were working on. So, but good day. Good day to be out here. And like I said, the scenery is awesome. Can't beat it. Francisco. Yep. We have that piece. That looks like Right here, it looks like silver. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. But it's in the in the court. I found a piece. It's layered, and you can see uh, some of that copper gold shit in it. What is this? Check that out. Quartz. Okay, so it's under underneath everything. Yeah, see, it's in layers. See how it looks dark on the outside, and you chip yeah. the piece off, and you got the quartz. But that's where that stuff's coming out of. It's coming out of these. And this is all from that volcano. Yeah. This has, you can tell, iron and stuff. In it. It's a little different. This is the same as that other piece. Now, if you pick a piece up and it's really heavy, yeah. keep that. And what you want to do with that is you want to crush it and pan it on. It's the same thing. Has... Trevor, pick that up. See it? Is that there? That it's reddish, yeah. It's different. That big one? Yeah. So you're saying this is from a volcano? Yeah, right down the scoop flat. That See was a how caldera. It all pulls up here. You had someone had a camp. And then they were digging under this, down on the below. So now that Frank and Trevor have arrived. There's another spot. It looks like someone had been doing some work. The problem is the cliff in that area is just eroding and deteriorating. You can see where it's breaking off everywhere. So we've got to take a lot of care and caution there. But more importantly, we want to work our way up the little stream there because that's where Frank found that little nugget and around that bedrock. It's a dangerous place because you can see where everything's breaking off yeah. and falling down. That piece is ready to come down. Yeah, that's why I told Trevor to move out of the way. Yeah, a couple of them have already fallen. So that's where all this shit's coming from. There's rocks break on. And usually they break right where the vein is. I saw it too. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> we both reach at the same time. There's a piece right there. Here. Piece right there. See it right by my thumbnail? Can you get it? Right over here? No, I had it. What'd you do? I'm filming and then I gotta stop. See that sun going behind those clouds screwed us. I don't know where it is now. It was on this top side. I got it just right. I couldn't tell. It looked like copper. I don't think it was gold. That has like a silverish color to it. It's a little a few copper color specks in it. I brought a selfie stick for this stuff.
I got a video of Frank behind me taking a picture of my butt. <laughs> would have been where something laid down. You can tell by the way the grass turns. Wind can do it. Obviously this boulder was displaced though. See that? Mm. So the boulder was displaced. It's not just a footprint because that's a lot of footprints but it looked like the animal came in and then laid down. What? On Bigfoot he was still. That's a little, little tiny bit. Let's see. Let's see where it goes off that way. Oh, but yeah, there was a game trail coming right down through here, so. It's his footprints. That's one yeah. foot, and that's another foot. Just stood still for a while. And there's grass down over there. That's what I just said. Oh. There's there more back there. But well, sometimes the wind can do it. See, look. Let's see, we, it's one of the things down, being down here today. We can tell no one's been here for a while. Because even where there's a bit of a path, you notice the grass is never bent or broke. Yeah. And bent can be the wind, but broke means someone stepped on it. So. Frank go through the cactus. What? Frank go through the cactus. Uh, he went that way and then he went around the other direction. Yeah. I don't know where he went. And this is the area where Frank found that nugget. He just found the surface find of it. Looks like someone's been back in here working. Looks like they've been digging around. Probably cleaned the hole out pretty good. Some dirty rocks in here though. How lucky are you when that happens? And of course we were told that doesn't happen for real so nobody would believe it. So they wouldn't put it on air. Which really sucked. I think it probably... Ruined Frank's day that day, because I think Frank thought, this is about where you found that surface find, right? The gold right through here? Yeah, in the dirt. Oh, yeah, it was coming down through here. You know, while we were up by uh, Black Cross Butte filming, I was walking up uh, on one of the drainages of Fish Creek, and there was water running at that time of year. And I looked down on the ground, and there was a nugget, it was about, maybe about a one gram nugget, this laying there on top of the bedrock. And I picked it up, yelled for the film crew. They came down, they filmed it, but they didn't air it. Why? Well, obviously someone's been through here digging because you can see they've kicked out all the dirt. I found a piece of gold like this once. Flat knot like that? Yeah. That's a bull casing. It was exactly I was say like that's that. a bullet casing, isn't it? But at first I thought it was a bull casing, but it was a piece of gold. Uh, oh, what you found before? Yeah, this, not here. Or this one? Not here. This no. here. This time you knew it was copper, right? Yeah. But I, I found a piece like that. It was flat knot perfectly like that. Breaking apart rock with my bare hands. Yeah, I think someone came through here and definitely was working the area. What do you think, Frank? Looks like it. That piece I found, it had to have broken out of one of these pieces of quartz. Yeah. Alright. Fortunately, this appears to be a, yeah, a year a year too late, huh? Well, somebody saw it. What's up for? Someone's enjoying it. Probably Magnuson. He was up there. Yeah, I know he was. Ugh. One of the things we got to continually do is stay on the move. We got a limited amount of time today. We want to grab the max.
maximum amount of samples. So we want to keep moving. We want to transition, get ourselves up the hill and pull some more samples off the rock outcropping. Seems like an interesting spot. Let's look at the geological formation of that. Remember much of that sediment layer on the boulder? There's a contact zone. Yeah, check that out. It goes all the way around. It's almost, yeah. It's crazy, man. I would think go. someone set the rock on top of it, but yeah. Crazy. It's just, yeah, you can just chip it away. It just comes right apart. Yeah, it's like a contact zone. You see it going all across. Cool. Ah. You can see long here. See here? Uh, I think that's, is that a watermark? Yeah, it's just a, a mineral layer. Yeah, or the stuff is deposited. Yeah, check it out. It's all wearing away now. Remember when we were out here and there's that hole on the other side? Yeah, I looked in there, there's nobody in there today. This is the color of the shit that we were getting stuff out. Oh, that's coming. It's all that dirty quartz. my notes and Covered a lot of ground today. Unfortunately, outside of maybe some traces of gold, a little copper. Really didn't find anything. A little silver. But yeah, some of the better spots we were looking for got picked out. The way it goes, huh? Black Cross Butte. It's a good day to be out hunting, though. The plan was wrap things up here. We're going to continue down Fish Creek, get ourselves down to the secondary vehicle. We got about a four or five hour hike ahead of us. But in the meantime, Frank does have a detour on a little special dig he was involved in just not too long ago, and we want to go check that out first. <laughs> 